off to Cliff's house right now. And, uh, Left at and Cliff had a lot of financial issues. the time um, uh, where he used the oil for like two three months and then when he had a scan again um, the tumors had not increased much at all in fact it looked benign to me so I'd love to go there uh, collect the reports and uh, see how he's doing generally and see if there are any uh, changes when it comes to the cancer situation and this general state of my uh, bladder which was infected with the um, tumor that was about to erupt. In fact it had. So we discovered this in one of the latest stages and uh, surgery became imminent. But I was very weak. So they put it off for some time. That's when I heard about you and got to meet you. Now Vic has been very, very enthusiastic about following up my case and he has kept me on a dosage of cannabis indicus. And I have benefited beyond all imagination uh, according to the authorities the bars that be from some of the most uh, highly spoken of hospitals in south india had said i needed surgery immediately and uh, because i was weak and as old as i am there was there was this uh, hope that was given to me that, yeah, man, you can live for at least another hundred days, you know, if you have this surgery. <laughs> but I must tell you, a hundred days passed and March came around and I'm still weak, but I'm strong. My bleeding has stopped. The pains I have uh, don't seem to have anything to do with uh, my tumours. And the last x-rays, uh, what do you call those uh, things? MRI. Those, uh, yeah, those uh, things uh, showed that the tumors had been contained, you know. So we'll go on with this medicine that really, really, really uh, helps in that the pain, the is decreased by a great extent. A great extent. I mean, you, you, you feel something that's the, uh, over there, but it's certainly not something that cripples you and makes you uh, nasty 24 hours of the day. Having said that, what? I would ask the powers that be uh, to investigate this. I'm sure there are lots of people in the pharmaceutical industry who would prefer to keep a, a miracle plant like this out of circulation because of its uh, 
going to uh, cut into their incomes and their profits. But if you are really interested in the poor man, the person who is suffering, not only financially, but making those around him feel uncomfortable because of his state of not being able to subscribe, and that's because of the pain he's going through. If he were allowed to be uh, to, to uh, have the benefits of this little plant, why not? Ask yourself this question, if you were down with cancer and somebody gave you some cannabis and it helped you and it will keep on helping you till these tumours are arrested, you'll see they disappear. So please, you know, pay a little bit more attention to what actually should be done instead of allowing the powers that be to line their profits with more profits and uh, you pay a hell of a lot more in terms of what uh, uh, could be done for a much, much less legalize this, please. Uh, I, I don't know if that plea is going to last. I mean, what will got to be done is to get everybody together who sees how uh, this uh, can be grown in this wild state, but it's being done by a mafia that's selling it at exorbitant prices. And uh, there is nothing except the man at the top who can say, man, this has got to stop. And if this is to be grown, it's to be grown and distributed among people who suffer from, from the cancer of not only the body, but of the worry that comes along with how am I going to pay this bill when I have no longer a salary or a pension, yeah, a very disturbing kind of a feeling. seven grains on this teaspoon and uh, just put uh, two or three drops of olive oil <coughs> so that uh, I just warm it over the candle oh, no, I put too much okay so because uh, so it will melt you know and then it's easy to uh, take yeah it sticks to the spoon just over the candle so that it you know melts gets loose. And uh, this cloth I have on. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so now that's over. <coughs> just with the tip of another teaspoon, just so it doesn't stick to the spoon now when Cliff takes it. Just all be taken, consumed. And now, since the teaspoon is hot, I've got to wipe it under because it's black. It gets a bit black. And the spoon, teaspoon is hot, so I've got to cool it. If 
you have uh, anything to say to the people who are suffering from cancer or uh, people who have, who have authorities to change this <coughs> issue what is it that one thing that you would actually tell them just very very straightforward very clear of message allowed to be grown used anybody who has cancer. They cannot do it themselves. The government should take it upon themselves to see that they supply this person with this so that he can be cured. And there is no reason whatever that it shouldn't be done. And I am living proof that it is working. I hope someone is listening out there. Thank you, Vicky, for all the beauty, the comfort, disappearance of pain. That only a person who has cancer will understand. Thank you.